Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani's surprise performance is the sweet escape you need right now. Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani treated a Las Vegas crowd at his new bar Old Red to a surprise performance of Happy Anywhere and Nobody But You. No performance is complete without Blake Shelton's Honey Bee. Which is why the country star surprised the crowd at the opening night for his new Las Vegas bar Old Red by bringing out his wife Gwen Stefani, who was coming off a show-stopping performance with No Doubt at Coachella. Gwen Stefani, everybody. Blake said to the crowd of 500 on April 17, according to People. I don't know if you all heard it, but there's a thing called Coachella last weekend. Gwen was over at Coachella Saturday, flew to Nashville for a wedding, and she's been a trooper and now she wanted to be here tonight. The couple, who tied the knot in 2021 after meeting on the set of The Voice in 2014, then sang their duets Happy Anywhere and Nobody But You. Blake and Gwen's performance comes shortly after Gwen spoke to the solid foundation of their relationship and how important that's been for her as insecurities have crept up. I had been going through those times where you're questioning, oh my gosh, am I just getting older? Am I cute? The 54-year-old told Nylon in an interview published April 9. In my own relationship, even though I know the truth of what's happening today, you still create drama in your own mind about your insecurities and what might happen. She continued, the truth is I am in love with my best friend and all this ST I'm thinking of in my brain, that's all it is, I'm overthinking. And when it comes to overthinking, the mom of three, with ex Gavin Rossdale, knows the media has a role in it. But when you're in love and have truly aligned values, nobody can get to us. You can say whatever you want to say about our relationship, I mean, a week ago we were getting divorced again or something, she added. It's just lies. The truth is the truth, and we know what that is. For more of Blake and Gwen's sweetest quotes about their relationship, keep reading. Let the rumors begin. I think he's hot, don't you? But to be super honest, it is kind of crazy we both went through the same thing at the same time. There's been so many people that I've gotten so much comfort from. Just people coming to me and telling me their story. Not confiding, but sharing, which has just helped me see things from a different perspective and move forward. Went to Ryan Seacrest in November 2015. Look of love. How can I not be, in love? She is the greatest, she is the greatest. Blake on today in March 2018. Saved my life. When you have a broken heart, at least, when I do, you got to get it out of your system. You want people to sympathize with you. I was at rock bottom, in the middle of hell, Gwen saved my life. Who else on earth could understand going through a high-profile divorce from another musician? Blake to Billboard in July 2016. Country Livin'. I grew up in Orange County, so I don't know if you've been down there, but it's nothing like the middle of America and our nature was the beach. So to be able to be in Oklahoma and be able to experience a ranch kind of vibe is just something I never ever had, so it's just been really, it's been great, amazing. Went on Jimmy Kimmel Live in August 2020. Wedding Bells. You know, what? I love weddings. The kids love him. We love him. Everybody loves him. He is lovable. I think about it all the time. Went to Ellen DeGeneres when discussing marrying Blake. Fierce fashion. My style is more feminine than ever before. It's probably because I'm super in love and have a really manly man. I enjoy letting that part of me come out now, because when I was in No Doubt, I never thought of myself as sexy. Even in my 30s, I was a tomboy. I hardly ever carried a purse. Went to InStyle in July 2018. Sexiest man alive. He doesn't even like to do a photo shoot. You can never convince him to do it. So he just called me like, they want me to do this. And I was like, you should totally do it. You're so sexy. Gwen's reaction to Blake being named people's sexiest man alive. He's so good at the show, I mean, he's just so magical. Blake is literally a unicorn, like anywhere he goes, people are just attracted to him, and he's such an incredible talent. Gwen on Sirius XM's Andy Cohen Live in September 2019. Biggest fans. 
Sitting here watching at Gwen Stefani rehearsals, it continues to shock me the amount of giant hits this girl has written. I highly recommend y'all catch her Vegas show if you can get tickets. Blake on Twitter in June 2018.